Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is currently um, heading towards a really, really key decision point. So Solana has been moving down in this descending channel since the, uh, yeah, basically the all time high. And um, we have here a clear ABC correction within a wave two. A wave two typically comes down into the region between the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6% FIP level. That would be between 30 and $55, yeah for Solana. Um, originally, the target area was a bit higher that was reached. I, I reduced it down now because we haven't since then moved into an uptrend based on the original target area that was reached that was start starting at $100 yeah, to the downside. So that was reached based on that the minimum requirements as per the Elliott wave rules for the completion of a correction are already completed. But because we have not seen yet a five wave structure to the upside or a um, sustainable breakout of a pattern or higher highs or higher lows. I just have to assume that we are still in a downtrend and therefore I do expect us to reach this green target area down here, which is located between this 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6% FIP level. But let's take a look at the more imminent um, price moves. So we had here on the chart this purple um, zone, which is my support zone here that is ranging between $84 and um, yeah, $75. Yeah. So this was between that lowest low here from the 24th of February and um, the beginning of, you know, where, where, where a lot of um, previous support was sitting basically. Now, if I go to the four hour chart, we might actually see it a little bit better. We can see how the price actually broke into that um, support zone. Yeah and uh, try to retest it from below you know that was a support level here at 84 85 dollars and uh, failed so oh, actually it was a successful retest so it broke down even further here came down all the way to 80 dollars that was um, yesterday and it's now trying to break out of it again um what i really want to emphasize here in this video is that um solana is really heading into here a key a key um, moment or decision point yeah because what you can see here we are in this support zone and there is not much more space. Solana has pretty much started to move or moved sideways since the 24th of January. Yes, there was a bit of up and down, but it pretty much did hold this support zone. And there is only limited sideways movement possible until we approach this channel again. So we've got this descending channel here, which has been holding Solana down, well, since uh, the all time high, basically. So since the middle of, um, no, since uh, yeah November, end of, uh, end of last year. And it has been moving down since then. And now we are approaching this resistance level. Yeah, so there is only limited uh, sideways potential left. So in the next few days, we can really expect here a decision point if Solana will be able to break out of this descending channel, which would be really positive Solana. Yeah, and high levels would be possible. But for that also, Solana would need to break above this 50 day moving average that is coming here. So again, it tried that before on the 2nd of March and failed at $105 as the 50 day moving average did uh, or was not broken. All right. So that is very important. And also what is coming up here at the moment is not very convincing, even though Solana moved up from 80 to $84, but that is really just the day to day volatility, really nothing too exciting, especially as on the four hour chart, the stochastic RSI is already overboard. Um, so it's pretty much exhausted already. Um, what I really want to, what to, what to emphasize here is yeah, this, this key, key point here that if we just moved sideways from here at the 11th of March, we would need a decision point. Yeah. And um, at the moment, we cannot see anything really convincing here on the Solana chart. Yeah, there is not really any major bullish momentum that would suggest we are going to break here to the upside. We would need some volume. Yeah, you would want to break out of here a retest and a, with a uh, volume confirmed breakout to really be confident that we can also hold above this descending channel. Yeah, that would be a good sign. That would be a bullish sign. Until that breakout happens, I have to assume that we come lower. For me, at the moment, the next support level would be at 75 US dollars. And there is some temporary upside together with a Bitcoin today. But at the moment, as I said, we are making here lower highs. You can see that actually. Um, and uh, yeah, just sideways consolidation really. So there is not really any major um, upside potential here visible, at least at the moment, until things change. I have to assume that we come down lower. Um, if I go on the one day chart, just to take a look at the 
very relevant indicators here. You can see that, yeah, the RSI below 50, so bearish momentum. It pretty much has been in this range since November 21. So all of that not really convincing. Yeah, no bullish momentum visible here really, even though the price made recently higher lows. I mean, the RSI made recently higher lows, but that was no surprise because we were massively oversold here on the um, 23rd of January. Again, we can see this here, and this is definitely not bullish. Um, the MACD is creating another bearish crossover here just today. I think we talked about this could be upcoming in the last few videos. Um, another bearish crossover, and that typically can be understood as a sell signal, unless this can be reversed now. Um, it's only today, so we would need a daily candle to close like that and leave it. Otherwise, it can obviously change during the day again. Um, but here the stochastic RSI still have, has further room to the downside, so it could really play out like that, that you get a bearish crossover here, and then we could expect for the next few days, maybe a couple of weeks, some more downside for Solana. Um, and here on the one hour chart, maybe just to get an, more of an idea of the more imminent price movements, let's take a look here. Um, here you can see that we are really trying to break out of this um, support zone now, so maybe we're just retesting it as a resistance now you can see that the rsi here is actually moving higher in the bullish range but it's only the one hour chart so don't pay too much attention to it we also have a bullish um, macd crossover here that happened yesterday late um, the stochastic rsi is already overbought so at some point here you're already losing buying momentum here on the macd so you could already turn around again and uh, together with that macd bearish crossover on the daily that could also lead to lower prices. And uh, yeah, don't forget, we are, uh, don't forget we're approaching here a very, very important resistance level with that descending channel. And uh, that will be very interesting in the next few days. I will definitely keep you updated. You won't miss anything here on this channel. If you keep uh, subscribed and keep uh, waiting for these videos, you won't miss anything. As you can see here, the EMA ribbon also still bearish. I mean, the EMA ribbon will be providing as additional resistance here on the four hour chart, yeah? Um, before we can only think about breaking through that descending channel um, resistance level. And if we take a look on the 8-hour chart as well, the 8-hour EMA ribbon is also running exactly there. So yeah, the price is even below the EMA ribbon on various time frames. So there is a lot for Solana to do in order to get back into bullish momentum. At the moment, I cannot see it yet. So that's my view here on Solana. Hopefully the update was useful. Hope you liked it. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe and also leave a comment for the algorithm. And if you really like the content, then maybe check out the channel membership where you can get access to the Discord server with a lot of additional content, my own buy and sell orders, uh, 2022 outlooks and so on. The Telegram live chat and a weekly live stream as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.